The government has expanded its operations for cracking down the hospitals which are selling stents at overpriced rates. The state-level drug controllers have been instructed to check the inventories while fake patients can also be sent to know the true position of hospitals and insurers will also play a role in checking compliance. Just a day back, Toy published a report which stated that the city hospitals are withdrawing the high-end stents in order to avoid price control. Acting on the report, on Friday, FDA carried out an unofficial survey regarding the pricing of stent at hospitals and their availability. Anand Kumar, the Union Minister of Chemicals and Fertilizers, was in Mumbai on Friday and he warned the hospitals and clinics which overcharge their patients as he said, on Friday, the patients were not able to get the new third and fourth generation stents and the reason given was that they needed to be relabeled with new prices. However National Pharmaceutical Pricing Authority, NPPA, stated it as non-compulsory. What's more, she also ensured that there is no shortage of stents. Majority of the hospitals have told Toy that new pricing for stents has been implemented but some sources from the industry have revealed that there is going to be an increase of 15% to 25% in the cardiac packages. A senior administrator of one of the leading hospitals said. As of now, the cardiac packages are around Rs 1.52.5 lakh and increase in the cost will depend upon the number of stents used. As per a former director of a private hospital in Putna which is a part of a national chain, Rs. 90, OOO was charged for stent and same amount was charged for the procedure, bringing the total to Rs. 1.8 lakh but as now the cost of stent has decreased. The price of procedure will increase. However, Synergy, Alpine, Absorb, and other manufacturers and distributors of high end stents have made it clear to FDA officers that new and latest stents can't be made available within the price limit of Rs. 30,000 that has been fixed by NPPA. Many of the latest stents have already been removed from the hospital, citing the reason of relabeling and first and second generation stents have been provided in exchange of them. However, FDA has warned against creating a shortage. Dr. A. V. Ganesh Kumar from L.H. Ranandani Hospital, Pau I, said that second generation's stents are getting used now as procedures can't be delayed. He talked about the dissimilarity between generations of stents. He also told that some of the second generation stents which were taken for relabeling have been sent back but those of third and fourth generation haven't come back. The company also told that they have asked the distributors to make bioresorbable vascular scaffold BVS, available, which gets dissolved in the body, at the maximum prices. But a majority of the doctors have maintained that BVS was not available. available.